take two. We did a whole take. <laughs> the camera quick. <laughs> anyway, Matt inspired me just to like, he's kind of taking an innovative approach to ranching. Um, today, we're going to kind of go through his approach to ranching, um, what North Bridger Bison is, and also we're going to harvest one. Yeah. It's harvest day. We're also going to talk a little bit about this, like how this is such a good partnership. We were talking a little bit about it kind of last night. We were kind of getting ready for today. Yeah. There's kind of like this, there's this thing that's like you know, land access, but also just access to like simple meat. Like exactly. Good meat. Like I think right. today we're kind of like losing some trust yes. with like what is on the grocery store shelf. But totally. like the unfortunate situation is a lot of us just like we gotta live, we gotta eat. So we just, we, just, we just go, we just do it. One of the barriers with meat that we're trying to break through is around transparency and connecting people to where their food comes from. Yeah, so the process is come out, field harvest the bison, which we just did, which is a headshot, copper bullet from about 10 yards, instant death, and then lift it up, bleed it, and then we're gonna drive it to a different pasture. We're gonna cut the head off, save the tongue and the cheeks, and then we're gonna gut it, and save the heart, liver, kidneys, hanging tender, and then, they, and then we'll get it back on the truck, take it to Amsterdam Meat Shop, and then they do, they do a great job skinning it, washing it, dry aging it, and then the customers getting this bison, this bison will be ready, you know, packaged, frozen, beautifully ready to go in like three or four weeks. You know, when it comes to cheap meat, the, the price tag is cheap, but the costs are huge. The cost to society, to the environment, to farmers and ranchers, to water, to wildlife habitat, pollinators, pollinator habitat, birds. I genuinely think that BHA is the most effective conservation organization out there. And I'm just really grateful for the work that BHA does. BHA at the end of the day, it, for so many people is about filling their freezers with amazing, amazing meat. And I always say to my hunting friends, I hope you fill your freezer with elk and deer, but if, if you don't, if you eat tag soup or if you're hurt or life just gets busy and you got an empty freezer, call us. We, we, we can help you.